That's just about. <clears throat> Hey everyone! Hi everyone! Welcome! Welcome to Positive Christian Race and more. My name is Christy. And I'm Greg. Also known as Charlie Brown. And today we took a Stellar Tree Star from Heart. And I just cut it in half into two. And we're going to do two projects with it. I want to show you how you can get your big bang for your buck out of a big styrofoam. I'll show up in a second and show you. It's kind of big and it's kind of chunky. It's a big styrofoam. So I just took my um my styrofoam cutter that I purchased from Hobby Lobby and I just went down through the center and just cut it in half. So we're gonna make two different things with this. With that being said, I'm gonna get started. And like I said, we have two halves. And I know the back looks kind of bad. I'm not worried about the way the back looks. We're going to cover that up with a piece of felt. I'm not worried about the back. I'm just worried about So, Dollar Tree has these um, foam roses. They have them in white, pink, and red. And we're going to use those as well. I have these little um, miniature rosebuds that are like the aqua blue. And I think these are gorgeous. So, I'm going to add some of those in with the, uh, with the foam roses. So I'm going to go ahead and get started, and I did cut out so heart shaped for the back of these, so we'll attach those on the back. So I hope everyone's having a good day today. It's Monday, I know. Hopefully it's a good day. I think I'm going to put the um, collar to the outside. And if you're new to our channel, let us know that you're ready. We're just going to go around and glue this on. I forgot my wax paper. You want to glue it to everything. So, did everybody have a good day today? Oops. And at any time, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Do you mind answering questions? And I am just using Gorilla Glue and I'm just going to glue these on. Hi, Pamela. Hi, Pamela. Hi, Christy and Greg. How are you doing today? We are good. Good. Um, <clears throat> we did go to town today and woo, it took longer than I thought. A few things and that. And yep. Trying to do supper. Yeah. And then get everything situated for the live tonight. And just I think it's been busier since we've been home than when it was in town. Yeah. You sit through a light three different times just because traffic is so backed up. It's like, oh, just get me home. But that's all right. I mean, so how are you today? Isn't that cute? This is going to be so cute. Like I said, I do want to incorporate some of these blue roses too, these little baby blue roses. I'm going to hook this thin way down. I'm sorry if everybody's commenting something and I haven't read it yet. Is it not acting right? No, Restarted it. Yeah, I assume you did. I honestly think it's time for me to find Probably. Casting in with those other three colors, the pink and the blue, red and white. Hi, CC. Hi, CC. Hi, yeah. And then Pamela said, I am doing good. have to have another category. For you and you'll be able to see really well. Yes. Or works it. <laughs> you just wear too many clothes, that's all. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. See, in your pajamas, no need to get dressed. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Vicki. Hi, Vicki. We're glad Welcome. to have you. I'm glad you re returned. Yes, it's 
stay up late to watch it, y'all. I'm sorry. Poor Biggie. The things you do to watch crazy. Hmm. Try to make sure we don't get two colors in a row. Isn't that gorgeous the way it's turning out. Great. Debbie Haas, and how are you doing? Hi, Debbie. We are good. How are you all doing? Just play with foam flowers. I'm great. Y'all, what we made yesterday on our live, I took it up town and dropped it off because every Wednesday, we have a thing up town for um, all of our seniors. We call it the Sunshine Game. And they go up there and they play. Um, they have big uh, bingo. Uh, hold on here. I'll be able to talk here in a minute. Every Wednesday, they do bingo up there for the seniors. And they call them the Sunshine Game. Well, any holiday, we always decorate for them. And what we made last night, the candy bracelet. Or the candy necklace out of the pool noodles and the heart. I took it up there today and I forgot to take a picture, but that's all right because I got to go up tomorrow and I got to take down my Christmas tree. And we decided we we're going to leave the Christmas tree up, but we're going to decorate it for Valentine's Day. So, what we're going to make Friday, it's going to go up there and we're going to decorate the tree with that. And we're going to decorate it for the Sunshine Gang. So, now I'm really excited to make it for Friday. I think y'all are going to love it. And I did find some more pool noodles. Which we had them in storage up town. So we're going to use those and we're going to decorate the tree for the Sunshine Gang because we always give them a party for every holiday. So, sorry, sorry. I'll stop blabbering. I was just excited. I'm sorry. Biggie said that's good. Did you have a good Christmas and New Year? Yes. Very quiet though. I don't mind it. CC said that's really sweet to do. Thank you wrong with her she thinks i need to too whatever so now i have to go see a north o doctor yeah he hurt his knee she kept threatening me well, i'll go to sleep you better watch yourself i'll beat you up she whatever did. He wishes I would have beat him up for him. I probably should pick up more. These? Uh, no, that's purple. These. That's blue to me. These. They're right there on top. These right here? Uh huh. Those don't look blue to me. Those are baby blue, they're aqua, whatever. I think you're colorblind. A word. Just sit down, crippled. Don't call me cripple. He's got something wrong with his knee. He hurt his knee. I'm going to blame it on you. I didn't do it. I didn't kick you there. Huh. Yeah. Huh. I left these stems long so we can use the stems later. Something else. Vicki said, bless you. I had doctor's appointment about meds because I have no spleen. I hope everything goes well. Yes. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Hi Kathy. everyone. I was hoping I had enough. Because, like I said, I only found one package each of the pink, white, and red, and I had to go to like seven different Dollar Trees to get these. I'm just making sure that blue red hairs before I move on. The blue contrast with the uh, with the other colors. I think that's pretty. 
Charlie Brown didn't eat sugar tonight, so he's not really wound up too hyper. Thank goodness. Did you even eat any sugar at all today? I had two, three musketeers all ago. Oh, I guess he did eat sugar. He hasn't kicked in yet. Dickie said that's okay. I am on meds for life. Oh. But want to change the name of them. And then Debbie, that was on last night. Mm -hmm. So good evening. How are good you doing, evening. Debbie? Welcome back. Yes. It's a styrofoam heart, as you can see, like I said yesterday. You want to show them up close? And I just cut that in half. You got this from Dollar Tree? Mm-hmm. And I used my little tool from Hobby Lobby. And it's back by the mannequin heads and stuff like that. And I'll show yeah. it to you here in just a second. Yeah. Just twice done, cut it in half. Yeah, the back side's not so pretty, but we're going to cover up the back side. We don't care about the back side. It's just the front side that we care about. And it cuts styrofoam. <laughs> what? Debbie said hello and wave. And then she said, hubby still hasn't found the Twinkies. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Poor hubby. He found his sugar. I didn't get a chance to hide it. That's because she knew better. What? Let's fill in with our glue. Because I definitely need one up here. I'm probably in a quarter of these heart or these roses online. Because I think that's the only way I'm going to be able to get any through our affiliate link. But they really think they're beautiful. <laughs> yeah. It just popped up across there, said your connection is unstable. Wait just a minute for it to reconnect. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. this is acting up. Yeah. I'm gonna have to call them tomorrow because I don't have any plans. Well, yeah, I gotta go up there and take pictures and sit down on the Christmas tree and start decorating it for Valentine's Day. Well, I doubt they come tomorrow. No, I doubt it too, but I need Unless to call them call the first thing in the morning. That'd be the only way. Yeah. Well, with everybody on e-learning, too. Yeah. Yeah, they put everybody on e-learning again around here because... Cable other houses are on doing whatever. It just slows everybody down. It's like... Oh. Yeah. It's crazy. You keep telling them we are a business and we have to have our own... You know what? We can't earn with others. We pay for our own. You're not doing your one job. Contents aren't popping up. Can you read them off the screen up there? Not even showing them up there. Oh. It says. Comments will appear here and there's nothing. <laughs> huh. There's some. Okay. Debbie said anytime we have snow or high wind. It's awful. We have the box for the cable and internet that goes to each house. It's out back in a ditch. And every time it rains, the ditch fills up water, so the box kind of goes underwater. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> that don't make any sense. But. You would think they would want to move it, but no, they leave it there. Yeah, and then it's mm -hmm. like, what was it? Sunday evening, they decided to put everybody back on e-learning because they said the COVID cases are going back up. Turn around and everything up full force and... Yeah, 
been having games and everything. Hmm. All righty. So there is our heart. Gorgeous. I love the way that blue looks. I'm going to wiggle these flowers around later. In the pink. I'm going to cut this piece of felt. doesn't matter what color it is, it's just in the back. And you can add that in to a wreath if you wanted to. And that felt will cover up the back. Alrighty, now on the other half, because like I said, I took one styrofoam and I cut it in half. Well, here's our other half. Yes, did you want to take something? No, I'm just starting it. Oh. See if that, okay. I thought you were holding Probably it. Probably won't. Yeah. I'm going to move this off to the side for a minute. Back over there? Mm-hmm. Thanks. No problem. You want to show them that up close? How gorgeous that is? Gorgeous. And I didn't cut the whole roll because I don't think we're going to need it, but just in case, I'll keep it close by. So what I'm going to do and go around. I'm not going to do the center because I had Charlie Brown paint this cross, and we're going to put the cross right here in the center. So, and right. this kind of matches. All right, go ahead. Sorry. Now that we got back on, Vicky said good night. Stay safe. Oh, good night, Vicky. Vicky. Sure, you said very pretty. Oh, uh, thank you. They got me some floral pins today. Got to get me some cutters. We might have to cut these down. These are way too big. And like I said, we're just going to start on it one way to the other. Yeah. Yeah. Half of the zip ties I put them to where the, the big knob would be to the inside, half of them would be to the outside. So I got to be careful which one I pick. So when all of them are going to the inside, so they don't get hurt on them when they pick them up. Okay. Yeah. Really? Guess that happened. It did. I just laid it down. I just used my leg to hold it in place. I got this. I know it's sticking straight up in the air. I get that. You might not be able to see it. Hold on. There. You see it now. It's sticking straight up in the air. Love the heart that necklace you did the other day. Oh, thank you. Clever. Thank you. It's Friday, we're going to use the pool noodles. I found some pool noodles. We had some leftover that we didn't use from Christmas. Someone said, oops, typo, sorry, LOL. It's fine. He'll figure it out. It keeps him busy. Sometimes I just, if I'm not wearing my reading glasses, because she made me old. Sometimes I it's, the letters just kind of run together and I got to move the phone back and forth to be able to see it. How do you keep Greg busy? Just type really small. <laughs> uh -huh. so. And yes, he's had sugar today. I didn't think he did, but he did. Can't tell if they came. No. Did you not get enough of your sweet? Didn't get enough food today. Uh, <laughs> oh. How is it my fault? I'm blaming it on you no matter what. Well, how is it my fault? 
because we had to stop here and stop there. And... Yeah. So nice. You notice I'm missing the cable? Is it that one right there on the floor? No. Well, it's the. I didn't grab it. That's probably why. We do need the power cable because the battery is pretty low on there. I'll be back, everyone. Oh. He's too busy eating. If he did, he forgot to hook up the power cable. The battery almost dead, and he forgot to hook up the Wi-Fi. Silly, 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 Charlie Brown. Why? Wow. Nothing, Charlie. Oh, that was happening. Whatever. I know you're talking about me. I didn't say anything. Sure, you didn't. I would never. <laughs> you are too funny. All right. Sorry, everyone. Oh, let's see if this he just wanted y'all to see him. That's all it was. Did y'all see Charlie Brown? Let him know that you see me. Wow. <laughs> oh. Cord to plug in this too. What? <laughs> Your phone. What do you mean? Do I come back in? I did. That's what I've been doing. Oh. I don't know. I guess somebody knows about technology ever. Like I said, I think it's because everybody's on e learning. Mom and Dad said, time to get busy on your homework. You're done with supper now. Probably. What? I was just sitting there thinking that lady that brought her grandkids into the doctor's office while we were waiting to go back. Woo, buddy. Yep. The granddaughter, I don't know how old she was. She made in what, six, seven. Something like that. She wasn't very old. And, that, and then she had a little brother. He was probably four or five, maybe. Somewhere in there. Yeah. But the little girl said, I'm bored. So the grandmother was like, what? You're bored? How can you be bored? Because they was watching those little videos and stuff on her phone whatever till i was a senior in high school and <laughs> we didn't have a phone until i was a senior we had it we didn't have cell phones we had the phone on the wall and <laughs> we didn't we had three channels four channels if you had rabbit ears <laughs> if you was fortunate enough to have rabbit ears you got four channels and we didn't have a remote control so how can you be bored and i was like I mean, we grew up the same way, but it's just funny here. <laughs> she was very loud. I was like, okay, uh, next. <laughs> Time for me to go. Yeah, I wasn't even there. I mean, I wasn't there for me. I was there for him. And of course, he starts giggling, and I'm like, don't start giggling, because then I'll bust out laughing. So don't. Then Brenna said, it makes you feel old, though. <laughs> I know. And he keeps looking at me, and I'm like, just, just don't. What else did she say? Oh, yeah, we weren't allowed to play inside. We had to play outside until dark. I'm like. Yeah. And everybody grew up the same way. Okay, got it. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we're living in new times now. I get it. But she was like really loud. She was being quiet by no means, but. No. Oh my gosh. Yes, Brennan, there was somebody louder than me. Believe that. <laughs> oh. 
Somebody louder than you? I know. That's hard to make. Slacker. I know, right? Slacker? <laughs> the first one is, is all the um, florals on there, the, the foam hearts. These are the four foam roses from the Dollar Tree. And then I used some of the blue roses that I got from my wholesaler. And you can put a back on this and you can attach this to um, a wreath. It can be a wreath attachment or it can just be on its own. And then the other half, because I use and I cut it in half, so we can get two projects out of it, get your cost down. And with this, I took this mesh, this beautiful mesh, it's the earthy tone, and I burned it at 10 inches, and I did the petals on them. And I'm going to contour, try to keep it contoured like this, and fill it in just on the sides, going down it. And we're going to put the curls in the center of it once we're done. As if it didn't turn out, but that's the look I'm going for. An angel wings with hmm. cross in the center. Tracy said, my grandson asked me what I would watch on my phone when I was his age. I told him the cell phone was not made yet when I was his age. Right. <laughs> He's probably like, huh? <laughs> right? Yeah, it's just hard to imagine for some people, isn't it? See, when we were younger, I don't know about you all, but when we were younger, where I, where I grew up at, they would have the fire alarms on the on the light post, or on the you know telephone post or whatever. On the city streets. Yeah, on the city streets, and if there was a fire, you just went out there and pulled it because it was easier, and it would go directly. The alarm would go directly to the fire station. Well, over the years, they eventually took them out. They would go out there and pull the alarm, and then you'd have like 50,000 fire trucks that would come, and they'd be sitting there searching around for the fire, and there was no fire. And you'd see the bratty kids across the street that were laughing and then everything else. So they quit doing that. And they took them all off the poles. But it was for people that didn't have a home phone, those poles, and they would pull those alarms on the poles. So they went through and took them all out. I don't know if you all have those, but that's what we had growing up. Because not every family was fortunate enough to have a phone. Teresa said, he said, really, Grandma? Yes, really. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> and then Carolyn said, oh, cool about those. Nice side, I probably should have started at the bottom. It probably would have been a little bit easier, but... I do everything the difficult way. And since the floral pins are pretty long, I am cutting them about half. So did anybody ever, did anybody else, I know everybody lives in different states and stuff, so did anybody else ever have those grown up, like the fire alarms on the poles? Or was it just our crazy town? It wasn't this town. We just moved to this town five years ago. Five, almost six years ago. Debbie said, my dad is 79 and got his first smartphone this past year. Aww. I think his dad just turned 81, I think he said. I think so. And he got him a phone. And he was trying to play around with it to try and learn it and that what to do and somebody would be calling me couldn't figure out how to answer it so the guy i work with said right there dad answer it and he's like well, how he goes swipe that up swipe <laughs> so his dad was trying to learn the smartphone also but yeah it's just something totally new to him yeah Trying to teach my mom how to use a smartphone, it was like, I'm done. I tell my sister, you have more patience with mom than I do. I'm done. I'm walking away. I'm walking out. I'm leaving. It was probably like a week later, my mom called me. And I'm like, oh. okay, good. She gets me to laugh in two times. 
because she wants to be argumentative with me. And I'm like, Mom, you cannot argue with me about this. It's not true. Have you guys seen that commercial? Do you guys remember that commercial where the lady... Oh, what is it, Greg? Because we laugh about it every time. There's a lot of them I recognize, but the mom. Well, the one where they're talking about posting the pictures on the wall, and she goes, that's not how you do this. That's not how any of this works. I remember that. I don't remember what it's about, but... I thought it was a phone commercial, but then... I think so. And she went on vacation, was, and she said something about she's going to post her pictures to her wall, and then... She's like, this uh, isn't how it works. This isn't how any of this works. <laughs> I'm like, that's so my mom. <laughs> I love my mom, but that's so my mom. Debbie said, oh, yes. It's a great challenge for him to call out and answer. Yeah. Yeah. It's just so much easier the old way, just pick up the phone and answer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Then Teresa said, when my father was in kindergarten, he learned how to read. We lived in Whiting, Indiana. At the time, he pulled the fire alarm. Needless to say, I was in town, and I saw the fire chief and the police bringing my son out of the school. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Whoops. Uh-oh. <laughs> I can't say anything because there's been several times my mom pulled up in front of the school and there I was being escorted out. So I can't say anything. My mom did not have a smile on her face, but I did. Debbie, I said, forget the phone, Dad. I'm getting a walkie-talkie to communicate with you. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's hilarious. Good idea. And then Teresa said, learn polls to keep Alarm, red pole, so he pulled all the instructions. <laughs> he pulled it. <laughs> My mom would be pulling up, and I'd just be walking out there being escorted by the, by the dean or principal, and they were like, um, she's not allowed to come back. Ever. I'd just be smiling. My mom goes, do you think it's funny? And I'm like, no, it was at the moment. Debbie said, I am in northern, in the northern part of Indiana. And we had those fire alarm poles too. So you know I'm not crazy, right? Yes. We're in southern Indiana, so but at the time we lived in northern Indiana. Yeah, but we wasn't far up now. No, no. We were with we were west central Indiana. There you go. There you go. Yep, they had them on the poles. And we had the neighbors that would not stop pulling those alarms. And here come the fire trucks. Neighbors did it. I can't say if I did or not. If they're a cop, they have to tell me, right? <laughs> There's a time limit of how I get trouble for something, right? She's doing this here now. I was a horrible child. I just wasn't the greatest child. It definitely stuck my mind. Remember that was in red boxes? Yes, yes, yes. I was sitting here thinking, yes. She said foot by foot in size, yeah. Yep. I don't know if they did this in northern Indiana, but I know where we was at. We was in Terre Haute. I was in Terre Haute. That's where I grew up at. Terre Haute, Indiana. Born and raised. Then I moved away. Got smart and moved away. Um, they had, um, right before they took out the, the alarms on the telephone poles, they, um, they started teaming up with the police officers and they would carry like baseball cards. They almost were like baseball cards. I actually, I think they were baseball cards. And they would drive around and give them to children. But in some of the little packets, they had like coupons for like a free ice cream or a free Happy Meal or something. And they'd give them those away to kids that they seen. I don't know if yours, if they ever did it up there in northern Indiana, but I know they did it in Terre Haute. I think it was more or less like begging us not to keep pulling the fire alarm. I've only done it once or twice. I 
I never did do it. I said once or twice, and it's just because my mom made me mad, so I never did it. I figured if the police or the fire trucks came, and she'd quit yelling at me. I didn't say I was the greatest child, I just said. I was a good kid growing up. Whatever! You put a whole thing of eggs down in the furnace. Good. Put a whole part of eggs down in the furnace. Mm-hmm. Imagine that. Whatever. Smell like rotten eggs in their house forever. Well, when I, I did that, I tried to cover up that smell, so I went and got Dad's cologne and poured it down there. <laughs> yep. I was going to say, did you pour the cologne on top of the rotten eggs? What else did you do? Uh, behind where we we lived, there was a guy who had a farm, and he had tractors back there. So when I was wanting to hide from mom, I would go out there and set in the back wheels of the tractor and hide from her. Teresa said, what are you clipping, Christy? They are, um, let me get the packages not open. These are, you want to show them up close, floral pens. They're really long. So you want to show them like how far down I'm clipping them. Like this is the way they come. And then this is how far I'm down I'm clipping them. Got one job doing. I got to do another one. Yeah, I'm doing another job to do. Oh my goodness. All right. I'm trying to hold on to the bottom of them. And I'm just using those to push in the mesh. See how this is going up and over? Hopefully you can see. You may have to bring some more mesh. Debbie said, don't recall anything like that. We had always yeah. received stickers from the police. Maybe that was the same thing. Yeah, it might have been. Trust me, they didn't mean it, but whatever. They had your name. They probably did have it on file. How many times they escorted me out of school? It wasn't like I was a bad child. I just didn't put up with a lot of the bullying going on. I wouldn't allow anybody to get me. So yeah, I was in trouble a lot. My mom was like, you just need to keep your nose to yourself. Many a days I was escorted off the school property. So the last time they said she can't come back ever. Yeah, they, I never received any of those special packages. Oh, no, now I can buy my own stickers. <laughs> Except you see corn in the cop car. Well, we didn't know it was his cop until he flashed his light. He was just corn in and half. He still was out in the country, and there was cornfield beside us and we were hiding out in the cornfield until we was corning. See that corn? So we see the blue and red flashers and we took off running left the bucket of corn and he confiscated that corn and I worked hard to fill that bucket up and he took it. I don't know why. Maybe made me mad. I'd take it too. You would. He hit us and he didn't catch us. Boy, my mama did though when we got to the house. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to burn some more mesh. That's true. You're at 4620. Yeah. Oh, well, we probably won't have time to finish this. So I'll probably just wait until Friday and then we'll finish it. And then I'll get the rest of the mesh burnt. Because I'm not going to finish any projects now off camera. I'm going to finish them on camera. So we don't get time to finish it. We'll finish it on Friday. And then we'll start on a new project. That's because I would have been the one there beating up the bullies. That's why I got expelled from a lot of schools. And to this day, I still don't allow bullying. They tried to get her to join the wrestling team because she's always fighting with people. <laughs> but she <laughs> couldn't follow the rules. <laughs> He's so full of him, so. <laughs> and 
and people start being, oh, Dr. One time is being disrespectful to me. And I just sat there and listened to him for a minute. And then I had done and I had enough and, had enough and just finally just put him back in his place. So just because you got MD and all them other fancy initials behind your name doesn't mean that you're something because you're not. So he didn't know what he's talking about. All right. Show him this side. There. No, it's hard to tell, isn't it? Just looks full. It does. But see, once we put that cross in there. And it's finished. Yeah, and it's finished. It'll look more like an angel on the bottom either. So and once you get that cross in there. See? No, yep. Yeah. It'll be, it'll be big and beautiful. I promise. I hope. It will be. And the floral pins you can get online. You can get them from Amazon. You can get them at any, like Hobby Lobby, Joann's, anywhere. Any crafting store. It was freezing all day long. Debbie said, going to look very pretty when done. Thank you. I hope so. I haven't finished it off camera. I'm going to finish it here on camera. So if we don't get. Your connection is unstable. Yeah, I'm just going to take direct too. Yep. Cool. I just have to look over and it going down. I heard something that I thought. Hmm. Um, if you guys want the numbers mesh, I can give you the numbers. I do have numbers for it too. If you guys want the numbers. But you can use whatever color of mesh you want. I don't want to save it somewhere. Debbie asked, will you stain or paint across? I did. Actually, Charlie Brown did. He did paint it. And I'll tell you what we did or what color I did. I took a brown, just a regular brown, apple barrel paint, and I mixed it with white apple barrel until I got that about the same color as this. Um, hold on, I'll show you the difference. Here you go. Can I show them the difference in it? I know it doesn't look like it, but I just wanted it to be real light to match the, the mesh. Look and see the phone, it looks different. Yeah. To me. Yeah. It's hard to tell with the light up there. <coughs> you want this cardboard? Sometimes when you put the cardboard behind it, mm -hmm. give me one sec. Mm -hmm. Or I could take this. Oh, sorry, everyone. How about doing it like that? Yeah. That still don't help. That light's too bright. Yeah. Here, you want this cardboard? That does help. Put it right there on that piece. Middle. Nope. Light's still too bright. Is it still too bright? Can you see the... Yeah, but you can still tell the difference. Okay. Yeah, you can still tell the difference. This is the way the cross came, and it came from the Dollar Tree. Um, $1.25. And when I seen this cross, and I seen these hearts, and I thought, hmm, it looks like it's going to be way too big, as you can see. Try to tell them that one because it does stick all over. But once after you get your mesh and everything on there, I still got to put a couple more pieces on this side on the bottom. It's still not all the way to the bottom yet. Look at how big and beautiful that's going to be. And like I said, it's not even all the way to the bottom yet. So it's not, that cross is not going to be too big. And it will look like angel wings. Once we're done, so I have to get some more mesh for this side. Do we have time that I can show them how I cut my mesh? Uh, like one piece? You 
Oh, yeah. 53, 45. Right. Let me turn this back on. Debbie and Cherry said they could see the difference. Yeah. You can definitely see the difference in it. All right. When I say I cut my mask or I actually burn it, this is just a wood burner that I use. You can get these anywhere. You can get them on Amazon, Hobby Lobby. They'll tell you the cheapest place to get it is Walmart. It's just a wood burner. You get different tips. You're going to want a heat, a heat resistant glass to cut this on. This is just a cutting board that I got at one of the home, home stores or home repair stores like um, Menards. They had it on sale for like three bucks and I picked it up. You can cut all of your mesh on this. It's glass. It's just a piece of glass and it will withstand the heat. That's how I burn my mesh. So when you hear somebody say they burn their mesh, that's what they're talking about. Um, when you burn it, there's a lot less fraying. It does really help with cutting down on the mesh or the, on the fraying, I mean. But I will say all mesh does fray. The more you handle it, the more it frays. However, when you burn it, it does help to cut down on that. They wonder what you do with those little tips. You can see it smoking, it's getting hot. I can't do it that way. It's a little ball. Maybe there's one on this side. I know, almost done. He has to go bed at seven, so. And I don't have one of those fancy collapsible mesh roller holder thingies. I just throw it down there on the floor. It's not a big deal. Nothing's gonna hurt it. It's mesh. Mesh is pretty durable if it's good mesh. He may sit down for just a minute. Oh, no, that's good. Like I said, I just measure out 10. 10 inches. Here's my 10. And I have a small tip on there. I'm just going to go right up. No, it's not heating up away. Once this is as heated up really good, it just, it basically glides right through your mesh. There it goes. Come on. Okay, there we go. That fabric that's in this mesh is not heated up enough to glide through that, to glide through that. There we go. I just touch my finger with the tip. Okay. Okay. Yeah, once it's hot enough, it'll glide through that fabric that's in this mesh. Just making the checkered patterns. I'm sorry, folks. Comments aren't coming up. It doesn't matter if you go up or down. It that's it doesn't matter. You can go either up or down. In case if that was one of the questions that he's not being able to pick up on. There we go. That's how you burn your mesh. I'm going to put this back on the stand so I know gets burned. And then you have a 10 by 10 piece. And then what I do is I take the two corners, the opposite two corners, and I kind of stretch them out in case you guys don't know. And I do top, bottom, opposite sides. I didn't invent this pedal. I'm not sure who did. And I'm sorry. I apologize for that. I should know, especially since I'm using this pedal. But I put them down in the center and I scrunchy them up. I know it's hard to see because I'm using a light colored mesh. 
Um, it looks like this. I don't know if y'all can see that. Um, it looks like a little bow tie, more or less. And I just fold it up. Then you have two little, make sure they're even. There you go. Fold it up. And then we're just going to put a zip tie right here to hold that. Yeah, I'll call them tomorrow and tell them they need to come out and do this because we're running a business and this is not business etiquette. Yeah. But they better get me fixed. Now, I pay a high price for that. Where did my flowers go? Oh, they're in the bucket, I think. Yeah. Then I just take my pliers and I make sure that it's fitting tight. You're fine, Charlie Brown. Settle down. Yeah, sometimes it slips off of there, too. Yeah, I know. Put the excess. And then just arrange your petals. And then that's what I've been hooking. We're putting on our uh, heart. That's what it is. And that's how you burn your mesh. Because I do get people, a lot of people asking me how I burn my mesh. Well, that's that's how you burn it. And then it keeps your mesh from fraying. You just use a wood burner. That's all it is. It's not hard. You, and the trick is to make sure it is heated so it does fit through your, through your mesh. Especially when it's like this, where the plaid is. That's cloth in there. That's fabric. And if your iron isn't hot enough, it will fight. It'll, it won't glide through there. But once it gets hot enough, then just pat it like hot melted butter. And it'll just glide right through there. You won't have any trouble at all. So that's how you'll know the difference. But that's how you burn mesh. All right. I don't know if there's any questions because we can't see right now. Our internet's being wonky. But like I said, we will finish this Friday. And it won't take that long to finish now that we got one side almost done. And I will have the rest of this burned, the mesh burned. So we've got rid of yeah. Hold on. My mouth is dry. I will have the rest of the mesh burned and ready to go. So all we have to do is just put it on, attach our cross, and we'll be done. Then we can move on to the pull noodle. For Friday, the poo noodle will not take that long, and it'll be fun, and I know you guys will love it, and it'll be another Valentine's decoration. All right. Well, thank you all for joining us. Yep. Yes. Yep, this is the heart. And like I said, I cut two pieces of felt. This can be a wreath attachment, and this is gorgeous with all those colors. And we will finish the angel wings this Friday, and then we'll move on to a pool noodle. So, with that being said, y'all have a wonderful and blessed week. Be kind to one another, and we will see y'all on Friday. And we're going to pray that the stupid internet is fixed, and I'm going to make them demand them to come out and fix my internet. Until then, have a wonderful